Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Inter in Football Manager 2020. I'm Inter and today has the potential to become a glorious day. Not because we are playing Sassuolo at home, but because if we win today's game, we're going to win the league for the second time in the series. We won it the first season, then unfortunately Juve got it the second one. Now we have the chance to bring it back home again. This is a situation both us and Juve have played 34 games, which means uh, there's four games left to play. Four games times three points is uh, 12, which means if we win today, they can't catch us. And that's glorious news, that's great news, but uh, it doesn't matter if it's great news on the paper, we, we need to win to make it happen. As Solo is playing pretty decently here. In the uh, ninth place of the table, just a one point behind the Denese, trying to fight for probably top seven, maybe even top, yeah, top seven is probably what they're going for. Uh, but we really can't underestimate them. We need to perform on top. This is where you're going to start. Martinez is back from his injury, but he's lacking fitness. He's going to start on the bench. And also, just been been uh, two days rest since uh, since the Champions League game, so a lot of rotations as always. But a few players have to start again. Uh, especially on top 10, um, but that that's where we find ourselves right now. So I think we should we should go to the game ASAP because I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Really looking forward to this one and all the uh, potential. This is the Sassuolo team we are up against. And yes, on paper, we are definitely a stronger team. But everything can happen in football. And uh, if, if we for a moment think it's done, everything could go uh could go wrong quickly so we need we need to stay focused we need to fight we need to give it us all and hopefully just hopefully the title will come back home again after allowing juve to borrow it for a season and that would be great news really really great news but the clock ticks on not much going on here I mean, we haven't played for that long, but uh, usually we get at least one highlight early on, but that doesn't seem the case at all. Uninterested after the feedback, my gosh. And uh, we see the Sassuolo keeper with the possession here, about to start something. Goes far, but that's no trouble at all for Jedvai. Instead, we have Esposito, and he misses the top goal scorer of the league, and misses. Yeah, we get a corner, clear by the defense. De Vrij picks it up. De Marco into the box, cleared again. Bronzovic this time. Back for Godin and uh, back for nothing, I guess. Looking at the statistics, we are completely dominating things. And here we get a throw in. De Marco. Um, it's a long cross for Esposito. Esposito into the box again. And this time he makes no mistake. It's his 36th all of the season. The assist from Eriksen. And now we can really start smelling the title. It's so close. But this, this pass from Eriksen is world class. And of course, uh, all of this uh, action from the kid is fantastic. Fantastic. What a development that young lad has uh, seen throughout this series. Loaned out the first season, started in the first team the second season, did decently, but missed a lot of chances. But this season he's been on top every single game, just smashing them in there. And here is a corner, Godin. Godin with a long cross for Haaland, and it's just over the top bar. And Haaland is actually second place in top goal scorer, so... He's there too. So a really good first half and it looks at the statistics. We got the goal. But one goal is always a very fragile lead. We have two guys with okay ratings. We need to tell them we expect more in the second half. Because if we start thinking it's done, that, then that, that's when stuff uh, that makes us cry starts happening. So we really need to step it up here in the second half and actually get ourselves some safe to Martin. Maybe it comes here. Here is Haaland. 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 No. Outside. That was really cool. But it wasn't offside too. I saw notes that the ref had brought up his flag. DeMarco to throw in. With a cross. And. Wait. Wait. Oh. Wait. What? Oh, I think it was handball or something. I'm not sure. It was really close to a second goal though for, for the kid. But instead, we see Sassuolo, but they give it away. Here's Riccardi, and here is Esposito. I think it should really have passed. That would have been an open goal for 
Oh yeah. That was uh, not great. Instead, actually, we are getting hit with a counterattack. This is really, really dangerous. It's Birardi, Birardi into the box, and I'm done with shaves. As I say, like a one goal lead is nothing. It's such a franchise lead. You really like, you can change with a blink on eye. If you're dominating things, you just need one allows the highlight, and then it could be all over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And this is Holland, this is Holland. No! Everything was fantastic and up to. Oh, wait, 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 it's not made up. Okay, it's over. It's over. Optics on. Okay, we had demolition them from statistics, but not from the result. Not at all. It's really close when it comes to result. I think it's time to start looking at the subs. Holland has been completed after garbage. I think we're going to bring in Lukaku. I'm going to give uh, Martinez just back from injury, he is lacking too much fitness because he's probably going to have to start the next game, so we uh, we want to rest him as much as possible. It's only going to be two days rest too between this one and, and the next game. What we could do, because Sense has been garbage, we can change him around with... I mean, Ericsson has also been garbage, but Ericsson is motivated while Sense is nervous. We're going to change these guys around, then we can bring in a Sense because uh, for, for the away game in the Champions League, we're probably not going, be, not going to be starting with an attacking midfielder. We're trying to balance things out, which, uh, which makes it okay if they get a little bit tired now, since they won't start the next game. The one last sub. I think we want to save it. Just two days rest, and we have that Champions League game coming up, the second leg. So everybody that's on the bench will most likely start that game. We need some fresh legs. Here's De Marco. Goes far for Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. And that should mean game set match. With five minutes and some extra time to play. Romelu Lukaku is 21st goal of the season. And he basically did what uh, Haaland couldn't. We have the cross. We have the run from Lukaku. And we have the finisher. Beautiful. Wallet the finisher there. We have uh, DeMarco with a throw in, Lukaku, DeMarco, and uh, gives it away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Bronsovic, Asensio, Riccardi, Riccardi, Riccardi for Jedwai, Jedwai to nothing. Nothing at all. It got me all excited and then nothing happened. Well, maybe something's going to happen here. Yes, maybe. Yeah, we see Jedwai back for the three. Jedvai, the long cross for Lukaku, and it is, I'll talk about super sub, we, we had uh, Haaland that was struggling, didn't do well, Lukaku comes on, scored twice, beautiful, uh, makes me a happy manager when you see that reaction from, uh, from a sub, fantastic finish here too. Now, now we can start to feel a lot better. Three minutes of extra time, clock ticks on, look at this, it is official, we have won the league for the second time in this save in three seasons, and we are celebrating, I'm happy, I have a huge smile on my face right now, and this is uh, great, I mean look at, look at this, oh my god, great news for all the Inter fans around the world, um, well done, and we also want to see the message here in, in, in the news board, Let's see, um, yes, we have won the Serie A, but of course, it's not over, because this is one title. One, one title is not enough for the Inter that we are, because uh, we, we want two more titles. We want a Champions League title, we're desperate for that one, and of course, we also have a cup final in, in, in Coppa Italia, so we have the chance for two more titles, and of course... If uh, the Champions League dream is going to be alive or not, we will know that at the end of the next episode. Because we have a one goal lead from that home game. I'm going to go for an extremely difficult away game versus Atletico. And uh, we're desperate. We're desperate for, to, to win. Because that would mean that we, for the first time in this series, would reach the Champions League final. But only time will tell how that one goes. So you'll have to wait to tomorrow's episode. Uh, and that's it for this episode, and you know what to do, we won the league. You, you better press that like button, 
winning the league definitely deserves that like button. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.